Hello, I'm Roger Dove, and I'd like to introduce you to my creative theatre. I've always loved the idea of how one creative force can help and inspire another to make something totally new and original. So I've looked at three of my great loves, opera, ballet, and literature, and I want to share with you the thought process and creative process that brought three of my creations to light. I couldn't believe it when one day I was asked by the Royal Opera House in Muscat if I would create a perfume to celebrate a new production of the opera Lachme by Delib. This opera is one that I've always loved and it has two very famous pieces of music in. One is the flower duet, so I immediately thought of two flowers dancing together and I thought of Rose and Oris. And then I also thought of the bell song or bell aria because in French, a bell is a cloche and an old name for Lilia the Valley is Clochette de Bonheur, the bells of happiness. But as the opera itself is set in India, I thought of sandalwood from Mysore, which is a legendary raw material seldom used today. And because the opera house is in Oman, I put a little whisper of frankincense in the background as a homage to where the opera was going to be staged. Years ago, I was asked by the Victorian Albert Museum if I would create a scent for an exhibition on Diaghilev and the Ballet Russe. I loved Diaghilev because he was a revolutionary and he broke every single rule you could imagine. It was at a time when the world was really reinventing itself, and I think the world is reinventing itself today. So what of the scent? I wanted to create something that was big and bold, like the scents of the Art Deco period, a big sheep, bold, unapologetic. But I didn't want to make a perfume which was looking backward, but something that looked forward. So I took the great structure of a classic chypre, based around vetiver, patchouli, and oak moss, counterpointed it with the freshness of bergamot. But in the heart of this creation, I used copious quantities of tuberos, big, bold, sexy, and unapologetic. If you're a rule breaker and you love people to notice you, then Diaghilev is without question the scent for you. It's sexy, it gets you noticed, and absolutely will linger in everybody's memory. So in 2015, the entire world looked at the works of Shakespeare all over again. The world celebrated 400 years of his work. And it made me think, how could I reimagine one of his greatest works, A Midsummer Night's Dream? In the story, we hear about how Tatiana sleeps on a bed of musk and rose, and we are taken and transported to a magical world, a world of imagination. And for that soft, dreamlike world, I decided I would use carrot seed and oris. The scent, when you first apply it, has this bright burst of bergamot with pink pepper that almost heralds the start of the play. This magical potion that I have made, when you apply a little, and somebody smells it on you, maybe they fall in love with you, and a brand new play begins, helped by a magical potion called A Midsummer Dream.